PeteTools.com. One of the local guys who watches me on YouTube, yeah, I have got three viewers in New Zealand, you know. He's uh, going to come around because he's really interested in this machine here, the PLC uh, 55 Pro. So he's never used a plasma cutter before, but he's trying to get something that he can use for a CNC machine. So what I thought I'd do is let him have a play with this, see what he thinks, and then he can go home and decide whether he wants to buy one or not. So when he turns up in the workshop, guys, I'll introduce you to him, and we'll see what happens, eh? Yeehaw! Same as usual, guys. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day at PeteTools.com. And let's get into it, eh? Anyway, so Barry's turned up. Here you go, mate. Good. He, he must be about the third viewer that I have in New Zealand from my channel. It's getting yeah. popular now, three or four viewers. Wow, That's where's right. it going to stop, eh? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Barry's come to have a look at this machine, guys. He's seen the review online. And he thought, well, that might be suitable for what I want to do. And what are you trying to do with them, Gap Barry? Oh, I just cut three more steel, more go karts and things like that. Oh, well, Gap Barry's a go kart maker. Maybe you could do some videos and once you get some go karts up and going on how to yeah. make go karts, eh? Yeah. you will be the next plasma cutter yeah. king of the go kart man at the same yeah. time, Barry. Yeah. <laughs> I'll need an editor though. <laughs> So what Barry was telling me was he wants to uh, change the torch on this to like one of those pencil torches that go up and down like that. And he's got a CNC router and he'd be a cleverer man than me. He's going to try and turn his CNC router into a plasma cutter table, computer controlled. So that'll be interesting to see Barry. Maybe you should uh, keep in touch and we'll see yeah, how you go. Well, yeah. If nothing else, it'll be yeah, last. <laughs> I won't be able to work I'll have to get one of my sons to do the cutting for me, you know. Mm. Uh, yeah, it takes a bit. When you get old, you bloody get them all the time. When you get old? Yeah. Like an old like me, mate, eh? Hey? Yeah, yeah. Bits start yeah. falling off and bits don't work anymore, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Barry, have you ever used a plasma cutter before? No, nah, never used one. Right, yeah. Here's a, here's a chest sweat. We'll go and see if you can cut some steel with this, eh? Right, yeah. There you go, mate. Right, Barry, so what we're going to do is we've got a bit of 3mm plate here. It's not that thick, but it's about the maximum you're going to cut for go karts or something like that, unless you're going to make big, like, tanky go karts. Um, just kick it in the guts, I'll show you what to do first, I'll just cut a little bit off, and then let's see if you can do it, eh? Yeah. So Barry, if you've never used this before, it's just the simple thing, your torch plugs in here, your pilot arc wire plugs in here, this is for your off-on switch, and this is for your earth lead. Yep. So just put your earth lead on whatever you're cutting, or as close as possible to whatever you're cutting, yep. so you can complete the circuit, turn your machine on, and I just kick it in the guts and I'll put it on the maximum amps. doesn't really matter how thick I'm cutting because I'm just like that. It must yep. be a Kiwi thing. Yeah. <laughs> and now grab your torch. And you know it's pilot arc because as soon as you push your button, flame comes out the end of it. And then put it on your work. Pull the button. Oh, just a little tip for you there, Barry. Don't go like that and then push the button because it'll blow your consumable straight yeah. up. Because yeah. the... It hasn't got a chance to blow through the steel, so all it's going to do is blow it straight back yeah. into the torch. So Barry, if we just start it off the edge of the steel here, pull the button, and then pull it towards you, and then we'll see how we go, eh? Yep. Let's have a go! And if you like to do with speed too, Barry, you get to know the speed. So no, Barry, remember what I said, start just off the middle and just have a go. See if you can actually cut it, mate. First time ever. Yeah! There you go. Did it. Oh, almost. What do you reckon, guys? First time? Pretty damn good if you ask me. Have a go. Give another go. It's an art, that's what I said. It's more art than anything else. Yeah. We're just saying we both got the shaky hand syndrome, guys. I said to Barry here, what is it, Parkinson's disease or alcohol or what the hell is it? With me, it's probably alcohol. You see here, you can see where you're shaking. Yep. And here where the compressor started again and you tried to go off quickly. Yep. Yeah. Just have another go. Just start somewhere here and just cut that off. And just have a play. Yep. So you better leave my hand on there. Yeah, you can leave your hand on there. It's a little bit steady sharp. That's what I do with welding as well. Yep. Yeah. Just cut the rest of it off there. Yep. Too fast. 
Uh, it's a little bit too fast, you can see there how it's not quite coming through. And you're also lifting the torch up, so the further you get away, yep. the less grunt it's going to have to cut through it. You know yep. what I mean? Yep. Have another play. Mate, the amount of times I've burnt myself doing that, it's just crazy. Try going a little bit closer. Hold on, mate. We'll just yep. move this. Hold on. We'll just move the steel out of it and give you a bit more to cut. Yeah, you can start wherever you want. Yeah. And just try going a little bit closer, and then we'll put the guide on and see if it makes any difference there. Yeah. Because can I drag it on the steel? Yep. Button? Third cut. Yep. Certainly a lot better than an angle grinder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are you normally cutting your steel, Barry? Um, on the cold saw or... How do uh, you cut shapes on a cold saw? Um, well, someone can sort of... Um, oh, no, sorry, on the small grinder with the wee thin wheel on. Oh, yeah. Use it that way. Um, um, the cold saw, like I use it to cut all the, the uh, box. Get the 45s mm. on it, mm. um, but well, some usually needs a bit of a gun, you know, mm. from the grinder. Mm. But you wouldn't want to use something like this to cut 45s on box section because you're just wasting no. your time. You're better off with a with a that's right, yeah, with, yeah, a, with a mitre saw or a cold saw yeah. or whatever yeah. you're using. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. this is this is designed to cut flat sheet and shapes basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right on the router, that will be ideal because. It holds it steady well, and it gives you a, a, a well, constant yeah, speed as well. Yeah, it and yeah. Um, yeah, so I would have had to get someone to do all the settings on it. Mm. And, uh, mm. Right, Barry, what we'll do is we'll put the guide on so you don't actually have to hold it above the steel where you're not dragging it. We'll see if that helps you out in the end. Yeah, we could have got on while we holding it on the steel. Yeah. But the guy said, but like, no, you're not supposed to. Oh, we need to. Right here guys, so what we've done, try and make it a little bit easier for Barry for cutting, is we'll put the guide wheel on it. And that needs about an eighth of a mil, maybe half a mil, just above the steel, so you're not dragging your tip on it. And the theory is it makes it easier for newbies and that to use it. So anyway, let's have a go. See if Barry can cut with this on. Ooh. Remember your speed, Barry. Yep. What's that, your fourth cut? Looking better and better and better all the time, isn't it? Yeah. So what do you reckon, Barry? First time plasma cutting. You reckon you'd buy one of these PLC 55 machines? Definitely. Yep. No, I reckon they bloody crackers. So, well, there you go. That's a man that's just used the angle grinder or a cold saw. Now, first time ever plasma cutting. And the man's at a good age. He looks like he's about 35 or so. So there you go. You should have done it ages ago. Yep. Yeah, for sure. These are, these are the guys, these things. Make yeah. life easier. <laughs> More time to have a beer. Yeah, I and mean, we like our beer here in New Zealand. I don't know how well you guys are, but you know, we don't drink much. Just yeah. just enough. <laughs> no, 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 just for these needs. Right, uh, guys, that's about enough bullshit for me this week. Good to meet Barry here in the workshop. He come in here, he thought I had a really, really flash workshop. Had a look around and said, oh my God, Pete. <laughs> That must be a Kiwi thing as well. No. Anyway guys, make sure you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day to Barry in the comments below, and we'll see you next time, mate. Bye. See you in the next show. Peachtools.com.com.com.